Hey guys, I'm Cindy and today I am with Kevin and we are in the Ocala National Forest. We both have our Jeeps and we are going to be doing the Tread Lightly 4x4 Way Trail. We just checked in because it is a badge of honor trail and from what I hear it can get a little narrow in spots so pinstriping might be an issue. I don't know. But uh, I guess that'll break my Jeep in. <laughs> we just aired down. Kevin's finishing up on his right now. I've disconnected the sway bar links and we are gonna get going. All right, so we turned off of Highway 316 onto Trail 9 and we're about to make our first right-hand turn. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's narrow for sure. Oh. Not exactly sure what that is hanging off of my mirror. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> uh. I must be insane doing this to my Jeep. So this is an 80 mile trail. The road we just came off of is... Forest Road 01-4.5. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, and now we're on, let me see. Now we're going to Forest Road. We're on Forest Road 01 now, we just turned. Okay. And then we're gonna go up on Forest Road 1 for a little ways. And then we're gonna turn on Forest Road 01-4.11. And then we're going to be on that for a little bit. And that's going to be, I think, another tight uh, trail through the through the woods. Oh. That was pretty neat. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a little scratchy, but it's still pretty yeah. cool back there. Mostly I was worried about my solar panels, but he, he hopped up there and looked, and he says they look fine. They look fine, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll keep following the map. All right. This road right here is two lane. It looks like. Yeah, this is like a main forest road. Yeah. Yep. But it won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> so I realized we took a wrong turn back there. And you can see we're off the trail. I took a right and we should have went left. So now we're heading back. The direction we came we're going to go straight across forest road 01 and get back on the trail so i guess we took a wrong turn back there and i think we're on the right path now we had a ranger stop and was like yelling at us saying you're not supposed to be back here <laughs> oh man that's a first Another experience, oh, I'm so mad. These idiot hunters decided that we shouldn't be here. So they were coming the opposite direction and they refused to back up. And we had to back way down the trail. And 
they were yelling at us the whole time and I have a temper, you know, so they I went, mm -hmm. all right, I gotta, Kevin's gone. I didn't know they were yelling at us until they got close to where I was and I could hear the curse words coming out of their mouths. They were trying to run us off of this trail is what they were trying to do, make us extremely uncomfortable because they didn't think we had a right to be here as much as them. But the fact is we do and we're out here enjoying nature and the wildlife and they're out here trying to fulfill their bloodthirsty needs. I don't like hunters. And I guess it's good that I didn't know until they were right up on me. Cause <laughs> I have a I have a switch. <laughs> this part of the woods narrow again. <laughs> it's really fun doing this. This trail that we're on now is known as the Unknown Trail. That's what they call it, the Unknown Trail. It's all part of the same system. So right now we're up here at Waypoint 14. And we're gonna follow it down here to number 15 but I think what we're going to do instead of turning to the left we're going to um, go 29 and turn to the left to the right and then we're going to basically what we're doing is we're going to we're not going to follow this loop here we're going to bypass that loop and then go around the 30 and 32 and 34 and follow the trail down that way so the reason we're gonna bypass that loop is it's getting a little bit later in the day and we got a campsite we wanna make it to. All right, so after looking at the map, um, we decided we're not gonna bypass that loop. It, uh, the trail looks fairly open. It's probably gonna be fairly quick to go around it. And um, actually we really don't wanna skip any of the trail. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. So I guess we won't be doing that loop. We got part way down it. There was a, a huge group of hunters. How many would you say? A lot. I don't know. A lot. A lot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're so frustrated. This is not going as well as we would have liked. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to have to skip that loop. We're trying to just make this enjoyable, which it should be. But I mean, we wouldn't get to enjoy these trails in this weather if we avoided coming out here when people are out here killing something. So that's where we're at. It looks like we're about to hit pavement. <laughs> Kevin's up here trying to decide which direction we need to go. So we stayed on that paved road for about two and a half miles and now we are on 58. And it is a little sandy through here. <laughs> Well, if he's lost, I'm certainly not going to be any help. I'm lost. And we found a paradise. What? Yeah, of all the places to be lost. 
<laughs> 44. We're at waypoint 44. It says to go right, but I don't really see nothing unless I'm missing. Let's something. work our way over there just a little bit and see if it clear. Way. Yeah, and see yeah. if it clears out and the trail becomes more defined. If not, we just come back Turn through here. Turn right west. He's showing all this stuff here. Oh God. I love them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna work our way up here and see if the trail becomes a little more defined. And hopefully we won't get shot. <laughs> I hear kids over there and everything. Well, it has been quite a day. Uh, the trail, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I didn't really know if I would enjoy it as much as I did. Um, I feel proud that I, I actually handled a lot of those obstacles pretty well, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's loud here. We are at Big Bass Campground, and uh, it's right off not far off of 42 here in the National Forest. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna stay tonight or not. We're just really frustrated. It's been quite a day, you know. Uh, even though we enjoyed the trail, you know, with there were so many hunters out, that just kind of really put a damper on things. Um, here at the campground, we got here, we had reserved a site because it's a, they do accept reservations here. And our site was already taken by somebody. So there's nobody over there, but there's a placeholder tent and a, like a rug and some toys. And there's, you can see in the tent because it's open, it's tent's empty, so that's why I say placeholder tent. There is a camp post here. We went down there and there's a dog chained to the door. So you can't go to the door, but there's a bell you can ring on a sign not far from the, the camper. Rang it, no answer, nobody came out. The dog just sat there barking. There's a pickup truck there. But we we decided we got it got another site right next to it. We we you know we're not paying for another night. We just pulled in here. There's not a reserve thing on the post, so we figure it's available. But we're just sitting here and we're thinking, you know, we're frustrated about the whole situation, and we're just not sure if we're gonna stay. But we're gonna give it some thought and then make that decision. We did a lot of the trail. Our plan was to, in the morning, 
finish the trail because the trail we started in the north side of the forest the trail works its way down and then it kind of you know there's all those little off loops and stuff which we did some of those and then it works its way kind of back up to the center of the national forest and we're down kind of where 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 it loops around we're kind of off right down there at the bottom and we were going to finish it out by looping back around and finishing it tomorrow when we got up so if we don't stay tonight we're gonna have to come back another time to finish the trail then we can always do it when there aren't a bunch of hunters here which would make it so much more enjoyable and uh as far as this campground goes, it's it's a nice little campground. Nice sights. They're wooded and somewhat private. They have nice little pit toilet. You can see over there. Look at that. That's a nice sight. Unfortunately, we got here so late that we only have less than an hour before it really starts to get dark about a half hour before dark we're gonna get attacked by mosquitoes so <laughs> it's just not been what we thought it was gonna be today I really did enjoy that trail and I'm I I want to definitely come back and do it when we're not constantly feeling like like people don't want us out there and are actually quite aggressive and it was that was the case so it is Florida <laughs> and the Ocala National Forest can get rough at times, I'm afraid. Well, we made a decision. We are going to head out. We have aired the tires back up and the sway bar links are already reconnected and we got a little snack and we're just going to take our time heading back into Southwest Florida and call it a experience, a good experience. Overall, I am really glad we did this, but we're anxious to get home. The, the site that we had reserved being taken just kind of was icing on the cake for a day where it seemed like, even though there were some great things, a lot was not going right. So I'm gonna call an end to this video and when we finally get back out here to finish this trail, we'll have to link it to this video. So if it's been a while since this video was made, check down in the details for another link or, or at the end of the video or something. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, I just wanna note that Kevin and I did not expect hunters to be out on this trail, did not plan appropriately, and we came out at the wrong time of year. We do not condone violence or the killing of animals. We will be back to finish this trail. It's a beautiful area that we all should be able to appreciate, protect, and enjoy.